God is the all-knowing, infinite intellect. He's perfect. He's always right, just like my ex-wife always thought she was. And so it doesn't exactly make sense when Orthodox Jews disagree with God, does it? And yet many do. I have a from woman who's a friend of mine, converted just a couple of years ago, and she feels free to disagree with God about things like homosexuality and abortion. I have another friend, as from as can be, who says that when it comes to homosexuality, he's okay with it. This is America. It's not his business. This is not a Jewish attitude. You know, the Torah calls homosexuality a toeva, an abomination, and calls for practitioners to be executed. Now, nobody's going to execute anybody today, but is it okay for an Orthodox Jew, for any Jew, to be okay with it? The prophet Isaiah tells us three different times we have to be a light unto the nations, and at the very least, that means we're responsible for sharing the Torah truth. We certainly cannot be comfortable and at ease with things that the Torah forbids. Can you imagine for a minute a firm Jew saying, yeah, I know Chaim Yankel worships idols, but that's his business, not mine. He's a nice guy. We are required to rebuke our fellow Jews when we see them doing something contrary to Torah. And we're required to be our brother's keepers. And for certain mitzvahs, the Noahide mitzvahs, this applies to all of mankind. I told my local rabbi that he should talk about this from the pulpit. But of course he didn't, and he won't. He's afraid of inadvertently insulting somebody, uh, maybe hurting shul attendance, maybe donations will be down, and people may not think of him as a nice guy and politically correct. The great Rabbi Meir Kahana, Hashem Yikom Damo, said many, many times, we live in an orphaned generation when Jews know the truth, but for various reasons refuse to speak it. Don't ever... Be afraid to speak Torah truths. It's one of the reasons Hashem sent us here. I'm Yisrael Chai.